Oh, uh, looks like this is going to be a quick video. Hello, YouTube. We got a uh, handy cam out. Reason is, with the handy cam is, I'll show you real quick, we couldn't do this on the other camera. So you're going to hear some wind every so often, wind noise every so often. But who are new to the channel, this is our grinding videos, our daily life videos here in East Central Iowa. We call the town of Clinton, Iowa. And right there you're looking at, guys, is what we call Flag Island. That's because of the American flag right there. How much is stuck out of the water? It's pretty low up here. Um, Mississippi River has been running low uh, for the past couple seasons. And uh, this year it's gotten so bad it affected barge traffic. And speaking of barge traffic, time you watch this video, uh, the barge traffic on the upper Mississippi River is going to come to an end as you start to notice there is some ice in the river, uh, floating, going down the river. Uh, it's got cold enough that it actually the river is starting to freeze. So the river, is, uh, river temperature is pretty low, but you start seeing some ice down there and that. So, yep, we're back to our grinding videos. This is our bench up here. We call the Angie and Chuck Show bench. Of course, that Flag Island, we used to call, we call that the Angie and Chuck Show Island because we stormed it on one of our videos a few years ago. And of course, right there is the City of Clinton showboat, uh, Lillian Russell Theater, to be precise, and that. So, uh, yep, so we're back home. Uh, actually, we've been home for a couple weeks. The uh, reason I put extra content from Vegas is we actually took a hiatus uh, from the channel. So now we're back to our grinding videos, uh, basically. Back our daily lives videos, where it belongs. Uh, here in East Central Iowa, where we're going to freeze our fannies off, uh, complain how cold it is, until next summer, before we know it, we we'll complain how hot and muggy and humid it is. <laughs> it never changes around here. Always complaining about the weather. How about your guys' weather? Anything you complain about, leave it down in the comments down below. Hello for anyone who are new to the channel, we're looking at one of the, uh, one of the restaurants here on the riverfront, Candlelight Inn. Uh, that's one of the uh, fine dining areas, casual dining, if you be precise. You can dress up too. Uh, also, ones who are new to the channel, uh, probably may have seen it already in some of our videos. Over there is our ballpark. There's our wonderful courthouse in the distance, but there's a ballpark right there where the Clinton Lumber Kings play. They only, we used to be developmental baseball. They used to play from, uh, April to early September. Now we're a college wood bat league. We only play from June, July, and early August. We are one casino town, like I said. Uh, we are one casino town. The casino is located on the west end of town. It's called Wild Rose Casino. And as uh, I do have content out there for the ones uh, who have watched this channel. Uh, how soon we make more content out there? Well. I'm just going to have to give a break from the Vegas content, from Vegas slot play, and all that stuff. Right now, it is a little windy, a little breezy. So, we'll just, uh, like I said, I had to bring this camera out uh, because I've been having some uh, charging issues with the new camera. Uh, I think I got that resolved. All I had to do is just switch batteries. <laughs> That's all I need to do. Just switch batteries. I know of ones who are new to the channel and probably watch up to this point, you probably say, what the heck is that? That looks like a lighthouse on a river? Yeah. Uh, Clint has three of these, uh, actually. They were built, actually it was a total of five, I think it was. It was built right along the riverfront, up and down this riverfront before they put the dike system in. Uh, two of them is meant to demise, the other three was kept for prosperity. And for some reason, the Corps of Engineers at the time wanted us to take them down. They said, no, they're staying up. It's a symbol of our city, uh, basically. We're the only city along the Mississippi River to have lighthouses. Uh, for the ones who are new to the channel. Uh, up over here, I forgot to show you guys. I'll just zoom it in since I got the good camera now that likes to zoom a lot better. And that's our Freedom Rock right there. I had documented on the channel uh, many times on that Freedom Rock. It is a little chilly up here. Not unbearable this year, or not yet at least. But I'm gonna have to make this video a little, a little short. 
because we're going to go into the other end of town here. It's kind of funny, when I was walking the streets of Vegas, it, my knee has not bothered me until I got home. It was a struggle to walk all the way from the showboat to down here. Sorry about the sun. Uh, by the time you watch this video, it's going to come to an end uh, in our area uh, because of the lock and dam systems we have up and down the upper Mississippi River, which uh, they're going to be doing a uh, uh, winter renovations. Uh, the, most of them going to winter renova renovations, and most of the uh, because of lack of barge traffic, lack of river traffic, uh, that's when most railroads will pull off what they call the bridge operator. Uh, on our drawbridge right down here, it operates uh, right there. There's that little house uh, elevator right there, about halfway up that tower, the middle tower, We're on that uh, turntable there, on that turn span. Yeah, in about a couple time you watch this video, they have removed uh, operators off that bridge uh, for the winter. And that they do the same thing up and down all the lock and dam, uh, all the drawbridges in our area because that's when the lock and dams are going into winter renovations. Um, like I said, a lot of barges do not like to travel in this ice, but sometimes they have to to get through. Uh, they do it a lot down by St. Louis because they have no choice. Because south of St. Louis, there is no lock and dam system uh, south of St. Louis. And for once, we're willing to stick with us it, with this channel uh, for once because we gained like 20 plus subscribers uh, since we got since during our whole Vegas trip. I hope every one of you stays with us to see what our lives is like here in Midwest. For the ones who've been around for a while, it's the same old, same old, uh, basically. But with some twists here, twists there, uh, we heard one of the businesses closed up while we were gone. That one car wash on the main drag uh, is closed up. A trucker going across the bridge with Jake brakes, but once again on the Iowa side, he cannot use them. <laughs> well, you can hear it really shortly here. But, uh, yeah, we had a couple businesses closed while we were gone. One being notable is the new car wash that's out there. We heard there was some um, technical issues with the, uh, and the owners did not want to deal with it. So, they, uh, so I think they sold it to somebody else. It all depends what they wanted to do with it. And that I also learned that another guy bought another building and decided to toss everybody out, uh, out of those buildings for some reason. Uh, another business is relocated to a fourth location. He's not having good luck, but at least he's staying in business. Um, unfortunately, a new business opened up. Uh, unfortunately, they were forced to close and they can't find another place to open up or find one that's, it's just the way it is. Uh, things change. Uh, you get new property owners, they don't care, they'll just toss everybody out because they think they want to do something else with the property. Uh, hopefully the plan will totally renovate it uh, and maybe bring new business in. But yeah, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a fun time. Uh, we'll be announcing what we'll be doing later, what we're going to do for next summer. Actually, we're planning to take a summer vacation this year, but we're not going out to Vegas, unfortunately. Uh, Angie wants to stay home more, uh, more locally this year, uh, this coming year. So that we'll we'll see what we got planned and how we're gonna do it. She wants to stay within a one day's drive of home for some reason. Uh, she's nervous about something for this upcoming year, and we're just gonna go ahead and just uh, grant her wish in that. Entering, uh, everybody knows on our channel, our wonderful downtown. Businesses has come and gone over the years. There's new ones I had not even tried uh, yet. And maybe one of these days we will. Uh, this place right here is called The View. Never been in there since they, re since they opened. Maybe one of these days we'll give it a try. Who knows. But yeah, uh, this is a wonderful downtown. That's the historic Van Allen building. Uh, it's on the National Historical Landmarks. Same with the Alcatraz. <laughs> Almost. Uh, we had gambling in Iowa since 1991. And we had a lot of what ifs if they had more than one casino in this town. Couldn't imagine if this downtown Clinton would have been like downtown Fremont. Maybe with one casino over there, they took up the entire block. 
This one took up the entire block. I'm going over there to take a part of the block to keep that in place. And maybe this up the whole block. Who knows? Maybe we'll have our own canopy lights <laughs> and that. Who knows? But it is one casino town. One of many uh, four statues in downtown area. Many statues will run water. They turn off the water. Right now I'm going to get on the city bus. But it's time to get on down here at our transfer point. And it's not a double decker <laughs> here. Uh, we're going to ride up to the north end. When you realize when you're back home, just imagine if the strip casino started with that building right down there. Let's say, let's make that Manley Bay. Uh, put, build it more south, more bigger. And for every two blocks or three blocks, you would put a mega resort in. It will stretch from all the way down there, way, 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 way up there. Uh, I'll tell you how far, because we're going to go up that way on a bus. I cannot show you the bus ride. I saw it many, many times. Uh, we'll just go... We'll see you at the north end of town, but that's not where, where the mega resorts were in because you got to go almost equivalent from Mandalay Bay, I said, from Mandalay Bay to the Strat, 4.4 miles. If you had the escalators and all that stuff for walking, it just miles would be uh, 4.7 miles. So, uh, but if you drove straight through, it will be 4.4 miles. That would make it all the way up to almost, not quite, to Eagle Point Park. That is the farthest north uh, to the city limits up there in this town. That's how far you gotta drive. That's equivalent of of driving the strip from here compared to here and there. All right, we're at the north end of town, uh, north end of Clinton. Years ago, it used to be called Lyon, so Clinton is the only one that has what you call two downtowns. That's a lot of beeper on that bus. Yeah, there's a bus leaving right here, here, so, uh, yep, so it's loud. <laughs> Let's talk about downtown, um, the equivalent of walking the strip in Vegas to versus here. Yeah, I still got that cold tour. I was hoping it'd be gone, but if I playing with it, it'll be gone sooner than you think. It really hurts, too. It's really bad this year, and that, so, yep. Okay, uh, like I said, if we were equivalent of, uh, uh, from Mandalay Bay to north uh, to the north end of what the Strat would be, uh, we still gotta go another mile to a mile and two tenths that way. Uh, like I said, up to Eagle Point Park. You know, in Vegas, that's a that's equivalent of a short walk. But here in where I live, that is a very long walk because there's nothing there's hardly enough to see in between. Right now, we'll see you. I got. We'll see you guys at home, and we'll wrap up this video. Unless I just cold sore. I've been having this since the Vegas trip. Oh man, it's really bothersome. It really got bad uh, worse. So I gotta put some medication on it. Ah, finally home. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna t try to take care of this. Hopefully, the next video hopefully gets better. Uh, yeah, stop playing with it. It'll get better if you stop playing with it. I've been using chapstick, and it seems like it helps, and sometimes it hurts, so. Okay, that's our grinding videos. We're back with our grinding videos. Uh, daily lives videos. Uh, uh, unfortunately, like I said, vacation videos are over. Uh, until next summer, where we got a plan, we'll talk about it in upcoming uh, later in a few months. Right now, what do we have to do? Credit bills. we got to pay all our credit cards. Uh, get them all paid up. Then we'll talk about next year's vacation uh, to see where we're going to go. Uh, we're probably not going to go west. We've been there two years in a row. I think we'll just skip a year uh, or two. And maybe I'll add another destination out west. Who knows? Who knows how we're going to go out there? We're going to fly or take the train. Right now i got to take care of this. Looks like i got a split lip. It's been bugging me since the trip. As you notice in recent videos on the application, it will start getting it will start getting bigger and bigger. So, and it hasn't really healed uh, since then. So we gotta make sure it gets healed, and we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. Please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe on the notification bell. And she hopefully feels better t on tomorrow's video. And we'll see you uh, then. Okay, see you later.